Paula, in lieu of the recent oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, do you feel that we can still export for oil uh, safely in and around our continental shelf? Well, I've always been skeptical about drilling for oil off the state of Florida because of our unique situation. Uh, Florida, of course, is a peninsula. Florida's main economy is driven by tourism. A lot of people come to Florida to go to our beaches. So I've always been very cautious and careful about uh, the drilling issue and how far off and what kind of precautions. And I think that what just happened was uh, not only a reminder to us that things can go wrong with human error and structu structural faults, but also uh, what's happened exceeds my worst nightmare of the severity of what could happen. So I'd like to see um, what, what the investigation shows, but I'm very, very uh, skeptical about whether we should pursue drilling off Florida's coast. And then also, in the, you've seen in the news, obviously, this uh, immigration bill that's passed in, uh, that was signed into law by Governor uh, uh, Brewer in Arizona. If you were elected as governor, would you support such a bill? Would you sign off on such a bill? Yeah, I don't know all the details of the bill, but I know that the people of Arizona had become increasingly frustrated with the violence that was occurring by people coming across into uh, the United States illegally. And when the federal government didn't take any action, they took action themselves. I don't think we have quite the severe situation in Florida, but I think that if the federal government isn't going to act, that states do have the responsibility to act to protect their borders. Because yeah, basically the bill was actually a bill to enforce federal law that was already on the books, that are already right. on the books. If that being the case, I, I know you mentioned you haven't read the bill in its entirety. If it was along those lines, would you would you sign off on it? Absolutely. We should enforce the laws that are on the books. We should protect our borders. Um, we're, we're living in tough times now where we have to uh, rely on people to, to give enough of their tax dollars over to the state to provide services. We certainly don't have the, the funds to afford services for people who aren't supposed to be here in the first place. So we have a lot of challenges ahead of us and protecting our borders is one of them and, and states need to step up and enforce the laws if the federal government isn't going to. Paula, you touched on the U.S. sugar deal tonight. Um, can you elaborate more on that? Yeah, um, I am a big fan of restoring the Everglades, but I truly don't believe that this U.S. sugar deal that's being put before us uh, really is about restoring the Everglades. I really think it's a, an attempt to uh, give a corporate subsidy to a corporation that's in what I think is financial and legal trouble. And the fact of the matter is the terms of the deal are bad. We can't afford it right now. The water management district, South Florida Water Management District, is putting the taxpayers in the 16 counties that fall under the water management district into a position where they may see ad valorem tax increases um, without it going through an elected body. An unelected bureaucracy of the water management district might be encumbering taxpayers into paying more taxes and I, I think that that's wrong. I tried to amend certain environmental bills so that that couldn't happen and some of my uh, colleagues voted that down. So I think it's unfortunate but I think that uh, this deal needs to be further scrutinized and quite frankly most everybody would love for somebody to purchase their home or their land in 2004 or 2005 dollars and that's what we, the taxpayers of the state of Florida, would be paying U.S. sugar for their land and we wouldn't even be taking control of the land, we'd be saying to them they could stay on that land for up to 20 years and continue their operations. How does that restore the Everglades? It doesn't. And it's a bad deal. It needs to be renegotiated. We need to start from scratch. Uh, and the taxpayers are the ones that are going to be footing the bill.